In space, no one can hear you scream, but science can explain the horror of alien. The creature, in its life cycle, challenges our understanding of biology, but it doesn't nullify it. From the facehugger that implants its embryo, a parasite reminiscent of certain parasitoid wasps, such as glyptopantals, which inject viruses into the nervous system of their host caterpillars, controlling their behavior and forcing them to protect the wasp larvae, to the chestburster that emerges violently, nature shows us examples of extreme parasitism, such as nematomorphs that manipulate crickets into drowning in water, thus ensuring their own reproductive cycle. The xenomorph's acidic blood could be inspired by the defense mechanisms of some insects, such as ants that spray formic acid at high pressure, or even the defensive secretions of some bombardier beetles, which expel a mixture of hydroquinones and hydrogen peroxide that reacts violently upon contact with air, generating an explosion and an irritant to repel predators. Its resistant and adaptable exoskeleton evokes the chitin of insects, but taken to an evolutionary extreme, perhaps incorporating minerals such as apatite, calcium phosphate, to increase its hardness, or even metals such as iron or titanium to improve its resistance to abrasion and high temperatures. The alien's ability to adapt to different environments and its relentless aggression are extrapolations of natural selection, where survival of the fittest manifests itself in its most brutal form, prioritizing reproduction and species expansion above all else. The hierarchy within the alien hive, with the queen as the central figure, draws parallels with eusocial insect societies, such as ants and bees, where the division of labor and caste specialization, workers, soldiers, drones, ensure the group's survival, optimizing efficiency and resource gathering and territorial defense.